Good morning. My name is Dan Allen, and I am one of your two hosts for this Q&A session on January the 2nd, 2001. Hold on one second. Uh, on, this, on this event, what we do is we answer questions from our business partners uh, about things that's uh, popped in their head throughout the week to bring their, their, uh, their journey into Forex trading uh, further. So that all we are, are, we're just a connection from last week to next week for most people. And this week we have starting off, I want to, I uh, just not doing the way I want to do it. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's go back one. Let's open up the screenshot. Let's open. There we go. So uh, let's do the question first. Okay. So our partner, Rob, he gave us, hold on, so we can all have it because this is a documented experience. Okay. And I might take notes, so give me one second because I'm going to go back and forth. This is Rob's question, super well presented. So I, I told him I would definitely make this the top of the call. I really appreciate your uh, the energy and thought you put in this, Rob. I took a picture of this because I am trying to understand what the candlesticks are saying. One that's, that says candlestick Bible to me. So hold on, Rob, candlestick Bible. I know you probably know, but some other people don't, uh, are saying to me and how to sort of know what is going to happen next. Uh, okay, going to happen next. Is the highlight from there. The long red candle that I have marked, which we're going to show the, the, uh, the picture in a second. The long red candle that I have marked, this arrow is getting on my nerves, excuse me. Okay. The long red candle that I have marked is what I'm confused about. Okay. After what looks like momentum to the upside, this candle comes along and drops almost the almost to the uh, previous support, which is good that you okay. It happened at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 28th, so we'll be able to go to a live chart too. We're not live, but our 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 chart, uh, December 28th, 5 a.m. If I were up at that time. Okay, what time do you trade? <laughs> what time do you trade? And fear of missing out. Um, if I were up at this time, how would I have been able to read this? Okay. Okay. Read the move. And there was surprisingly no indication that a reversal, so to speak, was about to happen. 20 pip the dip indicator. Uh, what should I be looking for ahead of time when things like this happen? Okay, so first I hope you're in demo, Rob. Um, I really, 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 really do. And two, um, if it wasn't you, because I know you some, because we talk, I would say you're trying to shortcut the shortcut right now with good intention. Like you want to win all the things that go like that. You got the, you got the, uh, let me get some answers too. Hold on, somebody else trying to get in. Uh, Ms. Ward, I'm giving you co-host. Can you watch the, uh, Thank you for me. Thank you, Rizzo. I did that too. Okay. So, um, oh, somebody, Rob, unmute yourself. I'm not looking, I don't look at the chat. It's, it's a whole different, I hope that's not keeping you in it. But, um, yeah, this is me right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, 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 good. Okay. So, I, first, I hope you're in demo because, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So what you're working to do is you're working to get the nuances of trading, which is great. 
And I would just like to highlight for everybody else, there's two stages that this uh, subscription helps you with before you get to where Rob is right now. And so the first one is you can get to a live session and then there's a coach with you making sure that you kind of know what's going on through their eyes. And Rob, this is great though. We're just speaking to the bigger audience. And then there's trade signals that in demo are super good to, to take all of them. And then as we go through this process, we start, we talk about having a sniper's entry on them so you can get that skill set as well. So this is the third and highest vibration of jumping into the market, which is without any uh, support while you're doing it. So Rob, again, I, I commend you for the for asking for the help. Um, so let's look at the picture. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this up for me on another screen. So I'm gonna be talking about it back and forth. But for now, no, we'll go to this one before we go to the actual, oh, where we at? One second. Then we'll, then I'll put it up on my chart too. I didn't look at it. Give me a second, Rob. Put that back there. Let's go back to these pictures. We're about to do some magic because the picture just left. Okay, got it. I'll take all challenges as they come. All right. So. There you go. Okay, and then let me put this back up one more time. Please bear with me. Okay, so what is the yellow line, uh, uh, Rob? So I know what I'm looking at. Oh, the yellow lines are the, are the um, uh, I went to the, um, you know, uh, did the top down analysis, uh, sure. so went to the daily. Okay. Uh, marked up the, um, uh, Marked up the high from the uh, from uh, current price and then okay. the, the low from our current price. And okay, so is the most recent high and low from the from the daily on your top down analysis? Is that exact? Right. Yeah, right. yeah. And mm -hmm. so now I'm going to assume that the blue lines are your key levels from the four hour. Yes, 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 they are. You are on your way, my brother. Okay, perfect. Because <laughs> ah, when you send it to me, it looked beautiful. So, okay. um. Your first question is, well, my first thing is, do you plan on trading at five in the morning? No. Then this is this is great to look at, but it's not going to be relevant to your trading style, right? Okay. And I say that because what you want to get real good at is knowing the time of day you're going to trade. So mm -hmm. we was um, eat which which uh, trading session you were going to be a part of, if you're going to be a part of one, and then kind of learn the world during that period of time. Mm. At this period of time, something else is happening. Gotcha. So at three o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, the London banks opened up and you're starting to see kind of the shake off from what happened from the Asian. So mm. if you're going to trade New York, this is cute, but it's irrelevant. So, so mm. that's going to be the first thing, right? Okay. Mm. Um, two, you're making this, the hour chart, which is where I use a lot um, hanging with Coach Max. The hour chart is kind of, Set to read the read the pattern, but mm -hmm. the entry that you're thinking about about how to see what's what's going on that should happen on the five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but we're going to stay right here now. If you could think of a 24 hour day, part of the day is the actual banking hours of Japan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which that in uh, Sydney or, or Australia that comes in the, what we what we call the Asian right Asian mm -hmm. session. Then those bankers did whatever they were going to do for the day based on what they had to do for their job. It's called a utilitarian purpose for Forex. They get, they get job assignments like everybody else at a job and they got to put so many trades in and take so many trades out and they got to clear their books by the end of the day. So when you're walking into a new session, you're leaving with one set of bankers did the market to what another set of bankers are about to do in the market. So what you're highlighting right now, because it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice size move, but it's it's what happened during the London, right? So now to give you just a real bottom line to it, this right, this run right here. So this starts off at three, this is four, and this is five, right? 
This is what is affectionately called a stop punt. And this is what I mean. Price was going up like you saw, then it gets to the key level. And so then it breaks the key level. So you think it's gonna go all the way up to here. Yeah. Right? It just, yeah. but right, there's no, there's no retracement like you see here. Here breaks through, hits a retracement, then bounces that way. So this one tricks somebody else, right? So it breaks up. Now what, what happens, and this is an advanced concept. That's why I hope you're still in demo because it's some study time for you. The, the people that wanted it to go down, right? They actually pay for it to go up first so they can catch people that have what's called the fear of missing out, kind of what, what, what could be happening with Bitcoin. That's why it's kind of scary right this second because there's no real retracement. So what happens is if you so like you want to you want to um, buy low and sell high, right? So the people that wanted it to go down, in my opinion, pushed it up for this this hour because you get the key level. People jump in to 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 take to, to take that ride up, and then they 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 clear their trades out. So this is what would be a banker's trick to catch greedy retail traders. So that's what you're looking at. Um, does, that, does that translate okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's what you're missing out is when you see a move happening and you need to jump in at the last minute. That's what I you know. Party. Thank you, got a beautiful show. Okay, look, what about... Is it I got like it. what about this? Hey, bye -bye. Bye. <laughs> These controls are amazing. So, anyway, that's what you're looking at. Now, you're saying, How could you have known? You never really know what's happening in the market, you respond to what you see. Mm -hmm. So, gotcha. uh, it was the euro dollar, right? Yes, it was. Okay, yeah, all right, so we're here. So what I but first thing I think you should add is read the candlestick Bible, make that an assignment for yourself. So yeah. that way yeah. okay, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So that way the candles themselves can talk to you, which is what you kind of put in the, in the post uh, in the 28th. And then get comfortable playing with this uh 20 pivot dip indicator will be my second suggestion as you are uh as you can see, I got key levels and I have the top and the bottom as well. So we, I'm in good, yeah, I'm in good company. Uh, where are we at? The 28th. First, let me get this line right here. Let me go here. Uh, oh, and it was like coming off of a Monday too. All right, so that's the move we're talking about. So now, right, yeah, right. So, first thing I'm going to do is hit this replay. Check this out, Rob. Mm -hmm. This replay button is amazing. <laughs> so, you want to know what to tell beforehand? Hit them with the play button. Yep, replay. Oop, there you go. <laughs> now it's gone. Like you just now it's almost like four times. So if you were awake, <laughs> yeah, if if you were awake, this is what you would have saw because this is four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, my bias would have like like you said it would have been looking like it want to go up, mm -hmm. but it's coming to this key level. Yep. So. Do, 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 do. And I know we have to wait for the, uh, I'm saying once it hits the key level, you got to wait for the, you know, got to wait for the retest. Uh, uh, the, the rejection, uh, the retest, and then you react. Okay, well, it did none of that. So you still right. would have been waiting. So that's, right. that, okay. So, but it's up at the key level at four. I'm on the hour chart. I wanted to go up. Yeah. Let's take it down to the five. And this is what I want you to see that I'm going to go on. So, so the answer, so I'm sorry, let me read the answer first. 
Candlestick Bible, how you know what's going on. Uh, you said how to know what's going on next. You don't know what's going on next. You have a bias, and then you wait for price to prove your bias, accurate or inaccurate. Don, mm. can you like that in for me, please? Um, so 5 a.m. You weren't gonna trade that time anyway. So it's better to study during the time you're gonna be trading. So when you're looking at that time of day through back time, so you don't you don't want to just look at everything because different things are happening. So you want to know what do the bankers at the New York, if you're trading eight o'clock, what do they normally do, right? And then you start looking at that pair during that eight hour session, right? That's sure. what I would tell you to do. So that's that's that one. Uh, read read the move. Oh, you, twenty pip dip indicator, and then. Okay, and something else. So this is not a this is not a a, a trade that I took. I mean, you know, I, know, I, was, I know I know we talking. Okay, okay. I, I read it very, very well written. I'm, I'm with you. Okay. So from here, this is that day on a five minute chart. And so one thing to highlight is when London came online, which is here, right where I got it at, and is right at that key level, and it looked like price was dancing. Then it broke to the next key level, which is cool. And then, so now coming into the father, so that, so this was, hold on. So this is uh, how I would also have looked at it before my past. Okay, so now we're gonna do is look at three to four and four to five. So this is three to four. This is four to five. So it was the first two hours of the London. Price came in. This is the Asian session. Well, this is really Frankfurt, but I don't wanna confuse the conversation. So coming in, price is breaking through, pushed up, and then this hour, it, it kind of consolidated and it pushed up, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're looking at. Now let's put our 20 pivot dip indicator on it. Okay. Hold on, I got another nifty thing. It's called full screen. I've been playing with trades. I'm trying to tell you, I watch tutorials and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're starting at. This, this would have been our decision-making process. And we know we're at the, we know we're at a key level. So I wouldn't be getting the trade right here. Right. So you said you would have watched it come, retest, and then go. So that's right. what you're looking for right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's play. So each one of these candles are five minutes. Yeah, so there's no way to, you know, look, uh, you know, there was no way to know that that next candle was going to do all of that see but you're trying to get it at the beginning of the trade like some type of maniac what you're not looking at is you were, <laughs> you were above the 50 which which mm -hmm. coach max says never take a sell trade above the 50 you mm -hmm. had a key level that you already marked out so you said before you would have got in the trade you would have needed it to break past here retest and then break so right? it didn't break up yeah so i didn't do it so you wouldn't have been in the trade so right you would have watched that you were being safe because you had this key level it turned around, and now you're saying, what the heck, right? Mm -hmm. But you're above the 50. Then it now breaks below the 50, so now you can, you're looking at a sell trade. And you're below your key level, and then under here, you're below the, the most recent support. So yeah. if you were going to be awake at this time, the trade would have been sitting on your hands up here. Mm -hmm. Then it's running south. You got the 20 pip dip indicator talking to you. Now we're breaking below the 50, so our bias changes. And now we broke through the support, so we could get in maybe here. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's actually a beautiful example of uh, 20 pips and div right there. You see right at 520, where that, that, that green candle closes just uh, below the 50 EMA. Mm -hmm. That is a heck of a confirmation right there that That's you're... Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're talking yeah. about the second candle? 
This green one right here. Let me hold on. Let me un, let me whatever uh, that one right there. Let me untake that off for a second. Let me go from a cross that I use so I can't see a straight line to an arrow because my partner's talking. Go back to full screen because I like it. Okay. I see the green candle right there. Okay, this green candle you're talking mm -hmm. about. Yep. So, so it, the entry is right here where it closed under the 50. Oh, uh -huh. So the green candle is actually that retracement. And if you were waiting for the retracement, you get in at the top here. So you got two entries. Waiting for this to close mm -hmm. or waiting to see this one retrace. Either way, right? Either way, got you. Just got to be patient. You know, that's the key. Listen, she said, still in your hands. It, it was probably my catchphrase. That and when she said, period. But sit on my hands was my coaching for 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm an aggressive spirit. So I would have wanted to get in all the way up here. I Just as, as a regular trader, I would have said, okay, it's turning around. Let's go. I'd have took this doji. I'd have jumped in and we'd have took the ride. Mm -hmm. But nowadays I work, I work is a process. Jerome said, listen to me carefully, but don't watch me too close. So, but the 25th <laughs> dip indicator clearly telling you that here you are safe because we don't try to get in the trades at the key levels. You and I talked about that. Right. And then, so now we got here, even if it was going to retrace like you wanted it to, you needed to go back above the 50, mm -hmm. which it never did. So either if you're, if you're keeping a, 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 a bullish or up, you want the chart to go up bias, you never get in this trade. And if you are riding the, 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 uh, the wave of life, you, you are flexible. You ch you change your bias when it went up when it when it went below. Seven out of ten people should have just kept their up bias like they like they thought and not got in the trade. So as you wanted to figure out how to get into this trade, for seven out of ten people, it would have been just silly hand. Because we would have had an up bias coming in, and most of our brains don't shift as soon as it moved that way. So this would have been a non-starter for us. So what I want you to think about this trade, not that you would have not made money, but you would have not lost money, which is just as good. Okay. So and the reason why I, I um, you, know, you know, basically did this is, is because, uh, you know, I um, was listening to when they had the mindset session um, last week. And okay. one thing, whatever that Elise was saying is that nothing beats, um, you know, like putting in chart time, you know, 10, so, that's, so that's, so that's one thing, whatever that's like sitting with me and, and I'm saying sitting in my spirit and my mind and everything right now. So I'm like the more time I've spent on the charts and, and, and the more things, you know, um, uh, you know, I'll be able to see and sort of question why certain things are happening. Right. So when I saw that, the the move was going up and then it just dropped all of a sudden that 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 sparked a question in me to be like well what 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 caused it to drop when there was no um uh you know there was no like real confirmation whatever that was. on the five there is though yeah like on the five that's why you you, you read the right you drop the down to the five. Right. On, the, on the one but on the five you got this 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 candle ran up to it it wicked heavy, so you got rejection. Then it came back up again and, and froze. Then it came over again and still stayed. Then it gave you another rejection. Mm -hmm. So it okay. gave you some, it gave you some okay. stuff, at least not to get in the trade for a buy. Okay. So um, first, I, that's why I wanted to make sure we took this time and we might take most of the call that people uh, jump in because I see that you took chart time. The, mm -hmm. the way you ask the question is somebody that's going back to us and, working to kind of get a clear understanding. So I'm super happy to, and you put it right in the, the GDP chat, like we asked everybody to so like, I don't know what you got in school, but you like an A student, like you really listen. <laughs> like, like I'm, about to, I'm about to call my son and tell me watch this, I don't know. <laughs> so um, inside your chart time, so you can get a clearer being really ready to be ready, Watch it during the hours that you're going to trade. Watch all of it because it's stuff to learn like this. But to get that, uh, uh, Rambus calls it a hypnotic rhythm. So to get that rhythm for the market, mm -hmm. you want to know kind of what you see happening with the pair you're thinking about 
during a time frame you're going to really be there. Gotcha. gotcha. But this was a great uh, a great demonstration of what a top down analysis, which we talk about all the time, right? And mm -hmm. the twenty pivot dip indicator, which is what I want to highlight for you here, um, look like together. If I win five trades and lose five trades, I'm I'm about at break even. I'm really gonna be at a little loss because the uh, uh, I'm looking at the monitor. I'm gonna really be at a little loss because the uh, the spread, the, the brokers, the, they're gonna get a little bit more out of me. But if I could, some people are trying to make the the the, uh, the wins bigger or longer. But if you can get the five wins and reduce the the five losses, your your stats is still gonna change um, dramatically. So it's both sides of the fence. It's offense and defense. And this was a defensive uh, training kind of sort of based on what we saw. And it, there's one thing I'd like to add, if I may, Mr. Please Allen. jump in. Yeah, please, please, please. So, so in, in this particular case, so EU, I love EU. It's uh, when I'm trading, it's my primary pair. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a couple of things to keep in mind here. The first thing, just looking at this is, you know, um, I don't remember exactly what was happening on the one hour, but uh, you, right here, you're still very close to the beginning of the, you know, uh, Frankfurt and the London sessions, right? Which are 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. respectively when they kick off. Mm -hmm. If you notice that turn, that big drop that we're talking about, that mm -hmm. happened right at the turn of the hour, uh, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. That is something to keep in mind whenever you're uh, coming in at the beginning of a session is that a lot of times you'll see reversals take place right at that at the turn of the hour. So when you're approaching the hour, that's a good time to sit on your hands and really dig in and look at these candles, uh, you know, do all your charting, all the charting you're already doing, which is looking really good. Just keep doing that and pay attention to as many nuances as possible. Let the hour approach and cross and, and see if it makes any sudden moves. You'll notice the New York session, which starts around 7 a.m. Um, sometimes it'll do something similar where either at seven or at eight or at 9 a.m. some kind of big move or big surge happens, okay? EU or Euro US dollar is, um, is it, it can be a very wacky pair right? Because it's among the most popular to trade worldwide. In other words, it has the most volume from retail traders like us and institutions compared to most other pairs. And so as a result, you're going to see uh, all different kinds of responses to fundamentals like news, which I'm, I'm not sure if there was news happening at that time. It's possible there may have been something uh, around 5 a.m. Um, or some kind of uh, like what Mr. Allen was talking about, institutional uh, um, assignments, right? That that were high enough volume to um, affect the entire market, right? You got to remember the Forex market trades uh, in excess of $6 trillion a day, right? That's a lot of money moving. And, um, you know, in general, it's, you know, this particular pair is going to respond uh, a lot like, you know, the, the British pound, U.S. dollar, anything U.S. dollar, but especially these in that session. It's just something to look out for uh, once you're approaching the hour. And uh, as far as the, the 20 pips and dip goes, yeah, as soon as it crossed that key level that just happened to coincide with um, the 50 EMA, that right there was, was a, a first, uh, you know, let's call it red flag that something was going to reverse. Then when it closed underneath and this, the next candle, that green candle at 525 confirmed, that's a good indication that you're probably going to keep moving down, you know? And I look at these key levels, these supports and resistances, like almost like a video game, right? Where if each one of them is, is, is made of, uh, you know, let's say brick, uh, that 50 EMA is solid. It's made of brick. If you have a key level that happens to coincide with it, you now you got two layers of bricks there that it's got to break through. Okay, so it means more to me if it's busting through both of those simultaneously gotcha, than gotcha. if it's just busting through one. So I, I take that as 
a double indication that something big is happening. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's just my personal approach to, to uh, Euro US dollar. It's, it's definitely a, a, a pair to uh, watch carefully, very carefully. You know, it's, it is also a high leverage pair, which just means that uh, you can trade on it uh, on, on most brokers for, uh, let's say, more money per pip than uh, most other pairs. So, you know, just be mindful of that. So that's, that's just my two cents. Okay, appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, you guys have done a, uh, like an amazing job and I, I, I have more clarity, um, you know, coming in. Um, so I, I, I thank you both for that. Awesome. Anybody else has any questions about this or anything else? We got some more time. Uh, but first, Rob, thank you for putting it in the GP chats. We had some time to chew on it. And then uh, we did, we have done what we said we would do. If it's in a GP chat before the uh, session, before this uh, event, this will be the first thing we talk about. So we just kept our word. Um, Appreciate you. Absolutely. Anybody else got anything? You got a question in the else? chat. Uh, uh, okay. Crystal, Crystal Green is asking, when is the best time to trade? Uh, Crystal, unmute yourself. Crystal, don't be shy. Crystal. It matters, Crystal, to where you live at and what you plan on doing. You can make money in the market at any time. Uh, it's, it's better to be consistent than uh, try to hit the lottery. So that's that answer. I was going to give you the long, nice, warm one, but that's, but that's my chat answer. <laughs> Tito, what you got for it? Uh, yeah, obviously that's a highly variable answer. And it just depends on, like you said, where you're at what your own personal rhythm is, what your own personal style is, and what pair or pairs you uh, are choosing to trade. Uh, I, I would say start by getting familiar with the sessions, the start times of, of each session. Uh, look at the pairs that are in those sessions and then make a decision on where to start based on what you would like to trade, you know, and then start putting in the chart time uh, of understanding the rhythm of that particular pair or those pairs. That's really the key here. Each, each pair is completely different and uh, moves differently at different times of day and whatnot. That's basically it. Awesome. And by sessions, we're talking about the live trading sessions in your back office, not the sessions of the trades, right? Both, both. Okay, okay. Awesome. Anybody else? Lakeisha, can you unmute yourself? Miss Lakeisha Jones? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I would love for you to give me your two cents on all this. Can you chime in and just from what uh, Rob's question was and what you kind of see, if you don't mind? So I apologize. I'm asking you a question now. So I'm... <laughs> I apologize. I wish I could. I had a quick uh -huh. phone call. It was a prospect. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I had to do a three way. I had yeah, to do a three way. So I, I respect totally you. It. I respect I you. Listen, telegram it to me after you watch the replay. Sure, sure, we sure will. <laughs> you're you're off the hot seat. I appreciate it. Thank you, partner. <laughs> Thank you. She said, "Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> something came up." Anybody's got any questions? That we're at eleven. We're at eleven thirty. Mr. Rambus isn't here. He is hanging out in Costa Rica this week. Uh. So I'm super happy for him having some fun. Um, we got the we got the we got the helm. And if there's no questions, uh, Tito, do the three, two, one for me, and let's get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any questions. Everybody, uh, feel free to unmute yourself or or drop a question in the chat. Um, I may sure. have a question. Sure, go hey, ahead. Hey, Nick. Hello. I um. So when I'm trading, I mean, I, I I do use a different broker, but when I'm trading and I 
um, feel as though that it's a big trade like a GU or an EA pair. And then I walk away for two seconds to go do something. I come back and I'm up like 30 pips. Um, what is the characteristic of the pair? Like the movements of some of these pairs. Some of these pairs move super fast, in my opinion, and then some of them move really slow. And as a new person, I don't know if I'm supposed to be waiting an hour or two or 10 minutes, like in the E, the E pairs, the Euro pairs or the GBP pairs. I would like to what? know the characteristics. You said you said you don't know if you should be waiting for, but what do you what are you saying? Waiting for what? Like when it when it um, breaks above, I guess like I don't know what your strategy is. This is my first call on here. Okay. Well, Coach Max talks about getting 20 pips out the market. So that's going to be the closest to a strategy that I, that I got for us. Uh, and then however, what you kind of do with that. Uh, each pair has its own, like there is, they're, they're different individuals, right? right. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, how does John act and how does Peter act? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It matters this the day of the week and all, like you, it's, it's a box of chocolate so the way you're asking the question it sounds like we're trying to find out what's the one thing to know about all the pairs right now and the one thing to know about all the pairs right now that they're all different so you can't know one thing about all the pairs except that they go up and down which is silly to say i know but that's the only thing that's consistent now i i've spent some time with some pairs and certain times of the day those pairs do something different at other times of the day, but that's back to that higher vibration of trading. That's sometimes a person trying to shortcut the shortcut because the shortcut, Nikki, is if you get on a live trading session, the person that's talking have taken all those nuances into a, into their thousands of hours of chart time and they're delivering it to you right there for you just to be able to just model the trade or at least model the pairs that they're picking during that session for that time of day. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is there's, there's alerts where you, they, now you go and put that alert on during that time of day and then start maybe doing your chart time with the alert while you're taking in a demo. But the question you're asking is you're trying to skip thousands of hours of chart time and skip the two resources that's given to you inside of your Epic membership. So it's, it's not, not you, but... The question and Rob's question too are both set to either I've studied enough with the coaches that I know this stuff that I put the, the time in, or I don't need the coaches. I'm just jumping in the market and then use the 20 pivot to vindicate it. But I, I think that, okay, so I think what I'm asking is um, there's like no cheat sheet on like, oh, okay, the Euro pairs. This is their characteristic. Like the Euro pairs may be fast moving, or this is what you sh yeah, well, the, should yeah, expect. You know what I mean? And then, like yeah. the, the chef pairs is um, okay, the chef pairs are a bit slower. So, within maybe a two to three hour time frame, you should only expect. Uh, this amount of movement. That, so, that's yeah. what I'm not seeing. And, and what I and what I'm what I'm communicating is that all gets done during the live session. That's right. That's what I was going to say. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. Why, that's why I said shortcut and the shortcut. You're saying yeah. skip all the live sessions. Just tell me everything, and it doesn't work that way. We'll be setting you up for for failure because there's so many nuances, and there's so many people trading so many different um, combinations. Can I? Yeah, I just want. I would like. To I'm going to tell you what the cheat sheet is because we have one. Okay. I know you do. I was just trying to ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a, dude, like I'm a biology major, right? So <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to look for like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I, I feel, I, oh yeah, absolutely. Content. That's why we're here. You know, I, 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 right. gave you, I gave you the cheat sheet that I know. So I, right. I did, like the way you just said that was I'm holding something back and he about to get a real answer. He may no, have no, no, no. Let me finish you though. Did, yeah, finish. go ahead. Let me finish. Cause you said, dude, I like, like sister, I'm sure. taking this time out okay. to give you what's my truth. So now Tito has, has something he's going to give you, but nobody's holding something back. I don't get paid to, to, to do this. I'm doing it cause I want you to win. 
So I, I, I respected your biology uh, major, but I'm telling you that there's a lot of stuff in this market that's set for you to get your head cracked wide open. And by you trying to shortcut the shortcut, unless Tito's about to use some magic, you're in for some learning lessons. And it's okay, because I've had them too. Tito, go ahead and jump in. Uh, you did. You did give the cheat sheet. The cheat sheet <laughs> is the live sessions. And the, the reason why it's the live sessions is because you have access to professional and master traders that have been trading that one pair for years and years and getting familiar with it, more familiar with it than, you know, maybe a lot of people in their lives. I don't know. The point is they're giving you these nuggets. They're giving you this sauce that when you connect and you listen to what they're saying, you take notes, you're going to learn things about some of these pairs that would have taken you thousands of hours of trading time, chart time to, to understand. So that is the cheat sheet. Ultimately, that's a big part of what we're paying for, right? When, as, as members of Epic is getting access to that exclusive information from people that have been accruing this experience, these nuances, this knowledge of their individual pairs. So this is the whole point of having a whole dream team, a whole lineup of people that are familiar with all the different aspects of the market, each one in a different area. So my recommendation, this is what was really helpful for me within the platform that we're using, is identify who within the, the dream team that, you know, they, they do the live sessions, uh, uh, you resonate with, right, with their style of trading, their way of communicating everything else, and take a look at what pairs they're trading, uh, make note of it, and then, you know, start there. I would just say that, start there and, and make use of that. That is really, in my opinion, the, 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 the big secret weapon uh, of what we have access to in, in response to, to your particular question. Tito, uh, Mr. Allen. Yes, sir. So uh, to, to touch on what, you know, Alice was asking, it's funny because, um, and y'all hit the nail on, it, on, on the uh, head, is when I look at Epic and like learning this as a trade, you know, a skill set that you're, 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 you know, earning, it's, if you listen to these master traders, and Tito probably can attest to this, Dan, I already know uh, your story with, you know, in these charts fighting, you know, before a platform like this was available. It took these guys years, three, four, five years of going through getting bumps and bruises, blowing accounts as they learn this information. So we get a chance to, our shortcut is we get a chance to jump in here, learn from their mistakes, watch them on these charts and maybe condense that time down to a year. You know what I mean? So we're, we're proficient now and, and ready to go out there and, and start teaching other people what we've learned. So that is the shortcut. I mean, you know, if you can get this under your belt in a year's time using this cheat sheet and this platform, and it's something, one of the live sessions I was on and someone that I've made a lot of money with, Sean Berno, some of you guys know him, and, um, you know, I was on that session. And he said something that really resonated with me because he put it in a term that we can all follow. And he talked about a pair. He said, you know, and as they talking about, you need to find a pair that, you know, you want to focus in on. And then he said, what you want to do is you want to treat that pair like dating. He said, spend a lot of time with it and take it out often. So that's what, you know what I mean? Like, that's how we have to get familiar to see how it moves, to know it. And, and Tito talked about it. You know, some, some people know these charts and the pairs better than probably their significant other, you know, because they're spending a ton of time with it to really learn how it moves to what Alice was saying. You know, does it move fast? When does it slow down? What time should I get it? All of that can be figured out when you're constantly spending time on that chart, on that pair, learning how it moves and reacts to different news and things of that nature. So I just wanted to throw that in there. I think that's a good uh, statement that Sean made, you know, treat your pair, whatever the pair is that you want to focus in on, treat it like dating, spend a lot of time with it and take it out often. So Tito, normally when Phil got to jump in, I'm being too aggressive. So Alice, I apologize. No, no, don't <laughs> apologize. It's our lease. Don't apologize. At least. Okay, perfect. I may, I may have, uh, you know, aggression is not what aggression is. Fine. No, no. I, I, I am I'm too assertive. Okay, so I guess I appreciate that because I have spent a lot of time, you know, because I came from another platform over here to you guys. 
and I, and I, you know, I was on a GDP pair. Somebody called me. I was up like $60 and then I was down like 200. I was like, oh my God, I can't take no phone calls when I'm doing a GDP because that thing rolled so fast. Like it was like, hello, hey, how you doing? Drop. Whereas if I'm on a chef pair, I'm, you know, I'm cooking. I got my stop losses on my, you know, take profits. I'm coming. This thing is like creeping all day for like yeah. two or three hours, yeah. which I don't like being in a trade that long. But then the GBV pairs, they rolled so quick. So the pound as I, the pound as a currency, right? The pound as a currency, it's a it's a wild animal. However, yeah, it it's a wild animal certain times of the day. Mm. So that's back to where we about that, that the, the live session. I was so I used to trade the euro dollar. That was my that's the pair I learned before I got into these set these settings, right? I was I was on the euro dollar every day. That's the only pair I traded. They said it was the most liquid. I would um, I actually went to California for 10 months. So that way 3 a.m. that was in Philadelphia was only midnight in California. So it wasn't, it didn't feel like I was up late trying to get to the pair. So I was going to conquer the, the, the dollar, I mean, the Euro dollar, right? So most people don't have the ability to go switch time zones to make their life still fit for the market. So I still traded toward the market. I just switched my life so that I, it, it felt easier on me and I got the chance to do that. So that's, that's that part, right? So then I started to notice that sometimes of the day, the Euro dollar does, like you're saying, move around off crazy. Sometimes of the day, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not every day, though. So if I try to if I, like, just give you a, a one thing, the data is not true, I'm going like, to seem like a liar. But no, I, no, no. You won't you, make... No, no, not, not you, not you. Just, just, I'm with you. Just, let, let me finish the I feel, yeah. so, so, so I have the Euro dollar down, right? I got myself traded to where if I wanted it to go up, I didn't care if it went down because I know that it's probably going to give me about 50 pips, right? That's about what it's going to give me. So I put my stop loss under 50 pips. I had a big enough margin account to where I could stand it for how I trade. And I would just pick an up trade. Even if I was wrong, I let it drop. And then I'd take trades on the way back up while that one trade was negative. That was a style I created from just trading that much that way. And I just had good risk management, right? I had enough, you know, the margin stuff. However, I tried to do that same thing with the pound yen and got my head taken off. It ain't care nothing about me, my mom, my kids, and nobody. So I couldn't do the same thing with the same pair. So think about having one offensive set, which is what I, I can still go on the Euro dollar and then do, I don't gotta do nothing else. Well, I don't gotta uh, 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 teach, I, I can just go to Euro dollar and I've done enough time with it that I can do my dance. But that style of fighting, if I take it to other pairs, I now need to ask somebody for a loan and ask Phil, can I sleep on this couch? So you just mm. got to get your own rhythm. You can't. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, my rhythm is like, like right now in my demo account, I'm up like almost 200. But then okay. in my live, but I'm trying, like in my demo, I'm a rock star. But in my live account, I'm like, <laughs> it's horrible. So in my live account every day, I'll be up like 100 or 200 pips. Can I ask you a question, Elise? Yes, sir. You you had mentioned uh, something that stuck out to me is when you were talking about uh, when you were uh, uh, trading your chef pairs and your your chef in in the kitchen, uh, <laughs> and you're you're at ease. You got your stop losses on. There's no problem, right? Uh, yeah. What what would be the difference between that and and you were mentioning you were trading a GBP pair. You left and then it came back and it was negative and that kind of stressed you out. What would be the difference? In other words. I'm wondering why would you have a stop loss on one that would make you feel at ease and not on the other one? Uh, you know, the GBPs, you know what I mean? Like if um, they, they, they move so slow in my opinion that you can, you can respectfully be like, oh yes, my stop loss theoretically should be right here. And my take profit should be right here. And, you know, but on a GBP, like if you haven't charted your stuff the night before and you don't have it all written down on a notepad on the side and then you enter 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 and then run back and put all the stop losses take profits right then it's like that thing can run up on you after it breaks that zone and then now 
now you before you even put your stop loss take profit now you're trying to get out of something because you already up a hundred or two you know there's no time okay for the okay, so for me i'm a yeah. slow thinker a little bit you know well, I, 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 I would i would say um well the first thing that i would say is if 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 you are going to pursue trading gbp pairs and this is just my opinion if you're going to trade those pairs or whatever pair that was as one of your primary pairs i would say uh put in the time needed for you to get to a point where you feel comfortable enough to set a stop loss right off the bat right so that you can replicate what you felt with that swiss pair that you were talking about with that in other words if you can't replicate that maybe that's not the best pair for you to be trading at least at this time that's mm. that's just my opinion because I, my 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 the way i approach this and the way that i share uh you know or or let's say advise beginners is you have to get to the point where once you enter the trade you are completely detached from whatever the outcome may be that's where um the chart time and that's where your your strategy your risk to reward ratio, which basically just means, you know, uh, uh, how many times you need to win versus lose in order for you to be in profit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to get to the point where if you lose, it's just like Mr. Allen said before, um, uh, you know, I'm not worried about it because my strategy is such and my familiarity with the pair is such that, you know, I will come out on top, right? That's that's the reason why I asked that because that is an important distinction I and mean, when, when you're when you're having two completely different experiences and one of them involves not having a stop loss set from the get-go that's a red flag in my opinion mm. all right okay i i'm gonna take that into consideration and make sure that i um um put in i may need to put in I don't know. I'm gonna have to change what I do because right now my demo account, Euro NZD, I'm up like 88 pips. But I've been in this since 12:31. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know. One of the biggest reasons why demo accounts often do better than live accounts. Please let me know. Is exactly what I was just talking about. Oh, How much do you actually stress about your demo account? Not at all. Exactly. Right. Not at so all. if you're confident in your strategy, and you're being consistent with it, right? And, 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 and you're putting in the trade and then you're letting, letting it be whatever it's going to be based on the parameters that you set. Yeah. You're not going to be, uh, you know, worried about stepping in or cutting it off prematurely or whatever it may be. A lot of that happens on live accounts. We think, oh, real money. I need to save this trade before it gets worse. Or, you know, you get strict, uh, struck by, you know, the, the, the uh, fear yeah. um, of losing whatever it may be. Right. That's that's the main reason. And and this happens all the time. This happens all the time. This happened. I This happened with me when I was just uh, in the transition between demo and live all the time. I was, you know, kicking butt on my demo and then I would oh, come yeah. into live and I was like, why can't I make that same thing work on live? Well, the, the difference is your sentiment. It's your sentiment and your confidence within your strategy. So, uh, yeah, my point is going back to what I was saying before. You just have to get to the point where you are confident enough in your strategy that you're detached from the outcome. And this is something coach Max talks about a lot as well. Hmm. You know, you just got to, whatever it's going to be and learn, take notes. This is it. You know what I mean? Like you want to talk about the secret. Okay. Uh, here we go. Every single one of the professionals, every single one of the professionals, right. That, that, that are on the dream team, mm -hmm. they put in the time. Okay. So if you already have a job and you want to do this for a living as well, mm -hmm this is now your job as well. And you got to treat it that way. You know what I mean? It's like all over the place. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got, I got, I got one here. Look what this is. Well, I got to put mine all in. Dan's no idea. I got a, I got Dan's idea on a post-it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. Well, all right. So well, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, at sure. least the, pro the problem you're, 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 you're helping everybody highlight is what every trader goes through going from demo to live. And what I'm most excited about the sharing time that we have is that you're in demo and live accounts. So yeah. you get to, you, you get a chance to see the difference. And then now we're, 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 
we're loving through how to uh, 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 tell what's going on. But a lot of people jump straight to live and then they, they don't get the training psychology is really what we're talking about. And mm -hmm. that's... Uh, 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 no, I was in my demo account for like two months. I, nah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, uh, even I traded XRP and I was up 22,000 pips. I was like, dang. I I'm the truth, know. right. So but I didn't know how to... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I was... Next step, I was asking you for a book. Yes. Trading so, psychology. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, that's that. And as I'm listening to you, I, I want to ask you, we only got a couple minutes left, but I really appreciate this conversation because I, I beg everybody to start in demo so they can get to this problem you're having. But oh, yeah. they got the skill set in demo too. So like you have, like you're not saying this thing don't work. You're saying, hold up, I'm the truth over here and I'm yeah. trash right here. We got to <laughs> figure this out because I, I know it works because it's working. Man. So. But so the problem that you're having is an excellent problem because the solution then gets you to be able to be ready to be that six figure trader because you're going to figure something out in your trading psychology. And so I love it. But let me ask you before we go, do you do you have a do your chart look kind of how Rob's did, how mine looks with a top down analysis? And do you use the 20 pip and dip indicator? I'm going to show you what I have. I'll show okay. you if you want. Yeah. Okay. Send it over to the GP group if you don't mind. Uh, who helped you get? Who helped you get started? Okay, yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah. JP. Well, 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 my number is two six seven nine seven five zero one two nine. Two six seven nine seven five zero one two nine. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What? And what is your name, Money uh, Coach? No, I'm Dan Allen. Dan. <laughs> I, I I hijack his uh, I hijack his Zoom to do this uh okay. this um this event because it's the one the team already knows, and I probably oh, should have I probably should have put it in the chat instead of the recording. <laughs> no, you're good. But we're already here. And I'm talking about for me because I I gave my number to everybody in perpetuity. Um, uh, either way, so send me a text and then I'll help you get to the GP group and you can put it in the GP group, which is our uh the community we use on Telegram. To talk about trading okay okay and I, first i honor the question i honor how you were able to show up with it and your uh comfortability with the feedback that that phil tito and i gave so thank you for for being sure who you are i appreciate it i appreciate y'all breaking it down thank you so much absolutely so we got three minutes left uh tito i don't know if you want to give somebody else a chance for three minutes but uh uh, that's a wrap. Okay, so on behalf of my partner, Mr. Tito Avila, special guest Lakeisha Jones, who's going to tighten me up with the information later. Also special guest Phil White and myself, Dan Allen. Um, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with us. And this is how we love on each other. So, Hey, Dan, real yes. quick, I'm sorry. You have a question about the book. If they're asking for the name of the book, can you type that in the... Yeah, I'll put a, I'll put a picture of it inside the uh, DP group. So, but thank you. Thank hey, you. Man, you gonna put it in what group? The I don't GP know if I'm group. in the other group. Absolutely. You work with Deidre, so I'm gonna make sure Deidre gets you tightened up today, Carlton. All right, appreciate it, my man. Yeah, I know who you are, even though it's a virtual customer services. We paying attention over. We got an eye on. Come on, Dan. That's what's up, my man. <laughs> hey, right. I appreciate you, brothers, man. I, I just want to say real quick, man. I so much look forward to these Saturday mornings at eleven. You guys are on point, man. This 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 is just awesome. I appreciate everything. Absolutely. Well, listen. I one, I received that. I'm gonna let Tito speak to it for himself. Um, and two. This is what I wanted when I got started. I only picked up the other side of the business. So that way I could put Phil and Nona and people that I, like Shaheed Salam, uh, Cisco Arzu, people I already knew. I needed them to learn how to trade and I wasn't going to teach them. So I vetted the platform. Coach Max was official. Everything else happened from there. So this whole thing, this one is so that I can make sure that the people that I care about, who they care about, get the truth. So uh, and the rest of it is hopefully is valuable. I don't know where else you're going to get a Tito at. Like, I like, like, Tito pours heart out on his jaw, and all you gotta do is show up and then tell you. Oh both. yeah, Tito. Tito kind of helped you out and kind of brought it back, like brought you back off the 
leg. I was like, <laughs> y'all did a great job. Thank you so much. For we, re we received that. Tito, closing words from you, sir, because they just gave you some positive energy. And as soon as you say bye, I'm hanging up. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, much, much appreciated. I appreciate the questions. Real, real good questions uh, today. Uh, perfect way to ring in the new year. So happy new year to everybody. Uh, you know, uh, for me, I, I look forward to these very much as well. I learn a lot uh, from these sessions. And uh, yeah, uh, if you didn't get around to ask your question this week, uh, remember to uh, drop it in the GEP group. And if you're not there, as Mr. Allen said, get with the uh, your sponsor. And uh, yeah, we'll see about getting you in there. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I got. We'll see you all again next week.